It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's Schools. We're happy you're here today. We're going to be testing science IQs and test your own and play along with us. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Judge Sylvania Woods, would you please, please say hello to Natalie Reyes, Diana Herrera Machaca, and Michael Croma. And from Rogers Heights Elementary, welcome to the show, please, Elizabeth Mu Musi, Aria Kamamo, and Jorge Medina. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. Easier questions on the left worth five and 10. Tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25. Toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And at the end of the two rounds, yes, one of these two talented, good-looking teams will come back to play Whitehall for the chance to become the last, the final four, final member of our final four in our elementary competition. A lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything works properly. Diana, would you try the red team's buzzer? It looks and sounds okay. That's a group push over there. You, Natalie, and Michael. And Aria, how about the green teams? They're all in together as well, Aria and Jorge and Elizabeth. Congratulations, guys. Let's have a good game here. We go alphabetically J before R, so Judge Woods and Diana, let's play this bowl. Uh, can I get body systems for 15, please? You certainly can. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, we have biceps and triceps and quadriceps, which are two, three, and four what's. What does the seps stand for, Rogers Heights? Muscles. Not muscles, good try. Biceps, triceps, quadriceps. Two, three, and four what's. Tendons, joints. Good try. Heads, heads, or points of attachment. Go again, red. Uh, can I get green things for 15, please? Green things for 15 points. Teams, a killing frost kills plants because it disrupts this structure that surrounds the plant's cell. Rogers Heights. Cell wall? You got that, Aria. Cell wall it is. Go, green. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, a catfish isn't much to look at, but they call it a swimming tongue because its whole body is covered with these things, Rogers Heights. What you got? Answer? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Diana, Michael, Natalie, they call a catfish a swimming tongue because its body is covered not with scales but with these things. Um. Taste buds. Taste buds. Is that what you find on a tongue? Go green. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you say something and you really don't mean it, you're making a joke. They say that you have your tongue stuck in what part of your mouth? Aria. In your throat? Not in your throat. If you're making a joke, you don't really, are you not really serious? The, the saying is you have your tongue in your what? Cheek. In your cheek. It's a tongue in cheek. Good. Thanks, Mike. Go red. Uh, can I get green things for five, please? Green things for five points. Teams, uh, among the many myths about George Washington is that he had wooden teeth and he chopped down a what? Rogers Heights. Oak tree. Oak tree? Not an oak tree. 
Judge Wood says, I cannot tell a lie. It was I who chopped what? An apple tree. A cherry tree. A cherry tree. Go again, Red. Uh, can I get, let's get physical for five, please? Get physical for five points. All right. Recently on TV, it was the sports shot that galvanized the country. Dukes, Zion Williamson, playing basketball, and his Nike shoe came apart. Well, one of the sports commentators said, what Nike should do is take some protein gelatin adhesive and change the Nike slogan from just do it to just what it. Glue it? Glue it. Glue it. That's exactly right. It's a great line. Go green. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, if, if you want to get in a meeting and no one will let you in, you go, oh gosh, I wish I could be like one of those insects on the wall. You want to be a what on the wall to hear what's going on in that meeting. Cockroach? Not a cockroach. <laughs> you might want, I don't know if anyone wants to be a cockroach. A Good answer, though. Judge Woods? A slug? A fly, like a fly on the wall. That's the phrase. Go green. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. In England, if you're a very successful gardener, you have a green finger. In America, if you're a great gardener, you have a green what? Rogers Heights? Thumb. Thumb. Good. Go. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, those ads on television that show people running to the bathroom all the time or trying to sell medication to help people who have an overactive what? Bladder. An overactive what, Rogers Heights? Bladder. Bladder, yeah. All right, absolutely. Good. Signs potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, in England, this show, this TV show about entrepreneurs is called The Dragon's Den. In this country, it's called this carnivorous, fi carnivorous fish's tank. Judge Woods. Shark. Shark. Shark tank. That's it. Good. Red. Uh, can I get daylight signs for five, please? Daylight signs for five points. Boy, this was interesting. They recently did a study, and it showed that flies have a tough time landing on these striped African equines. Rogers Heights? Zebras? Zebras, yeah. Somehow those stripes confuse the flies, and they bounce off the side of the zebra. Good for the zebra. Doesn't get bitten. All right, 95 to 60 advantage, still green. Signs potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Boy, this is, hmm, don't try this at home, kids. Some scientists recently took some of these popular building blocks that starred in two recent movies and swallowed one. Legos. Diana? Legos. Yeah, swallowed Legos and found that three days later they come out in the poop and don't do any damage. Don't try that. Our scores, we head to our break. 95 for Rogers Heights, 70 for Judge Woods. Part two of this important science bowl game in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Nice to have you here today. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. Uh, our show started 33 years ago. We were trying to increase scientific literacy, and uh, it has grown over the years. But you know what hasn't changed? The quality of the players. We have six outstanding young people here today. Let's meet them and find out about their schools. Let's go first to Judge Sylvania Woods. And Diana, Judge Woods hardly ever plays this game. And here you are. This is your third time here this year. Yep. You are in contention for a county championship. Congratulations. You are just doing remarkably well here. Tell us about your school. You're welcome. Tell us who your principal is. Our principal is Miss Barber. And she is, she's just terrific. She's behind you 100%. I know you guys are big <laughs> men and women on campus over there. And who's the coach? Uh, Mr. Ledu and Mr. Richardson. Both of them, yes. And I know that they have been working very hard with you as well. Uh, did you have any alternates on your team? I know Natalie had been an alternate. Who's you, do you have an alternate now? Yes, Kyrie. Wonderful. And we'll be out in just a few moments time, we hope. And I always like to ask, as you know, for the captain to say something really nice about the school, something that you think everybody at home should know about Judge Woods. Um, well, our teachers are very friendly and they make sure we understand what they're teaching us. Yeah, but that's what school is all about. You know, if the teachers are kind and you know that they have your concerns at heart, and if they know your name and they always use your name, you know that you're special and that you are, uh, you're in the right place. What do you want to do someday, Diana? Um, I want to be a pediatric physical therapist. And why so? 
Oh, uh, well, because my mom used to work a lot, and she would come home from work, and she would have a lot of problems with their feet, so I would always, like, help her. I remember you telling us that story before, and I know how appreciative your mom had to have been for you to do that. And I know uh, you're, you're a very disciplined young lady because you play the flute, don't you? Uh, no, I play the cello. The cello, the cello. Uh, still, an awful lot of time practicing, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to have you here today. Michael, tell us the Michael story. What would you like to do someday? Um, well, I'd like to work at Google for some time to build up money mm -hmm. so I could start my own gaming company. So pretty much I want to be a coder. Yeah, it's, that's the American dream, you know, to make money and to be successful and to have something that uh, uh, is iconic, like Google is right now or Amazon, something that is, uh, uh, defines the culture of your generation. Uh, why'd you want to be on the show, Mike? Um, I kind of like how it's competitive and how it tests our knowledge and there's no wrong answer because even if you get the answer wrong, you're still, you still have a chance to um, come back and win. Absolutely right. Uh, never say never. No matter what that score says over there, play up until the very end. That's what you do in life too. Uh, I like that explanation, and you're a good player. You have an awful lot of science knowledge. And Natalie, first time on the show, why'd you want to do this? Um, I really like the competition and how the game worked in general. Yeah, someone said it's like Jeopardy for kids, and I hope you feel that way. What do you want to do someday? Um, I would like to be a, a lawyer. A lawyer, that, we were talking about that, and I asked her, do you like to argue? And she went, you look too sweet to be a lawyer. But uh, Lawyers have to be arguing and defending people, but uh, I know you're going to do well. Rogers Heights, nice to have you guys here. Aria, welcome back. You were here last year, and Elizabeth was here last year, and Jorge was here last year, so it's old home week here. That's why you look so comfortable. Tell us about your school. Who's your principal? Dr. Bottoms. Wonderful. And uh, she is very happy that you are here and doing so well. And you've got a whole finger, a whole handful of coaches. Who are they? So we have Mr. Pippet, uh -huh. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Walker, Mr. Nope. Mr. Poe and Mr. Jeeve. Oh my goodness. So it's like you've got your own personal trainers over there that get you ready for this show here. Uh, any alternates on your team? Safaya, Javier, and Yael. And we'll bring them out in just a few moments. So you have a shadow team out there. Something great about Rogers Heights, Aria. Last year, our Reading Park scores were ranked first um, in the district and third in the state. Wow, wow. That's something yet to, to brag about and to you know shout from the rooftops. That shows all the good work that the teachers are doing, and all the work that you guys are putting in, too. Congratulations on that. What about you, Aria? Someday? I want to be a medical malpractice lawyer. Yeah, because you were telling me earlier that so many times doctors make mistakes, as we all do, and you know the patients shouldn't have to suffer financially because of that. Um, good luck to you. I can see you. You're, you're a very confident young woman, and uh, uh, you take charge. You have poise, just like a lawyer has to be. Nice to have you here. Jorge, nice to have you here. Tell us the story about your parakeet. Well, when I was very small, I had a eye woman. There were birds outside and many other animals, and I really liked to see them. So whenever, every time I could have the chance, I went outside and then just looked at how the birds acted um, to other birds, and then I wondered how, what, what would be the difference between how would birds act with other birds and how would bird, birds act with us humans. Yeah. Because animals react to us differently. Uh, yeah. It's like dogs look up to us and uh, uh, cats kind of look down on us <laughs> and pigs look at us like we're equals. You know, it's, it's all very interesting. So animal behavior, you're interested in that. Yeah. Yeah. Professionally someday? Uh, I'd like to be an ornithologist. Though. Ornithologist. I, I, that makes perfect sense to me. You're a good player. And just relax a little. You know, you're doing a good job here. <laughs> Elizabeth, nice to have you here today. Young lady who likes to cook. And you said you make some ethnic dishes, yeah? Yeah. What kinds of foods? I like making cultural foods. Um, most of the time I like cooking with cakes, and sometimes when I make mistakes with them, I try again and again once I get it right, and then I share them with my family. Like. Ah. So the mistakes you eat, but the good things you give to the family. Yeah. Oh, you're a wonderful <laughs> daughter. You're a wonderful daughter. And, uh, but you have different professional goals. You don't really be a professional chef. What do you want to do? I want to be a bio, um, a bio, a biomedical engineer. Em engineer, that's right. Uh, coming up with different prostheses and things that people can use. Yeah. Uh, 
a big business and people are always in need. It, makes, it changes their life. Let's get back into the game. What, 95 for Rogers Heights, 70 for Judge Woods, and the last correct answer came from the red team. So, Diana, you're 25 points down. Where do we go? Uh, can I get Deadline Science for 15, please? Deadline Science for 15 points. Teams, back in 1926, when Robert Goddard built his first rocket and sent it up, the fuel was oxygen and kerosene. The kerosene didn't work so well, so instead of kerosene, he replaced it with this gas, which is number one on the periodic Rogers Heights. Hydrogen? Hydrogen, yes. Oxygen and hydrogen. Good. Green. Uh, let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. It was back in 1846 that astronomers in Berlin looked through a telescope and saw this planet for the first time. In 1846. Judge Woods. Jupiter. Mars? Not Mars, no. No. Rogers Heights? Jupiter? Neptune, oh. Neptune, all the others we could see with the naked eye, but you needed a telescope to see Neptune way out there. Go green. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, in the movie How to Train Your Dragon, one of the heroic characters could belong to the mammal order Edentates. Who would that character be? Roger Heights. Toothless? Toothless, that's right. Edentate means without teeth. You got it. Good listening. Go. Dateline science for 10. Dateline science for 10 points. Teams, today's students like you not only have to know how to use a computer, you have to know how to program it. And that skill is known as this. Judge Woods. Coding. Coding, Coding. you got it. Thank you, Mike. Go, Diana. Uh, can I get uh, green things for 25, please? Green things for 25, big one in that category. Teams, a hydroponic farmer doesn't have to worry about erosion or floods or drought because he is or she is growing plants in water. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what she was going to yeah, tell I was me. Say water. Oh, my goodness. Judge Woods, farmers who grow plants in water are called hydroponic farmers. We have Aria to help to thank for that. I'm going to give you 25 points if you can spell hydroponic, Judge Woods. Who wants to be my speller? I guess. Okay. I don't know. Are you going to do it? Yes. All right, Diana, say the word for me. Hydroponic. You got it. H Y D R O P H O N I C. Oh, if you just hadn't added the H, H Y D R O P O N I C. Good try, no points. Go again, red. Uh, can I get science potpourri for 20, please? Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows Miss Maryland is using marijuana because she says it helps treat the tumor that is growing on this P-initialed endocrine gland in her head. Judge Woods. Yes, ma'am. What you got? Pass it to Michael. Mm, Rogers Heights. Pituitary, that's it. I could see you knew that one. Go green. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, back in 1943, because of World War II, the U.S. started making pennies out of steel instead of using this metal, which was needed for the war effort. Rogers Heights. Copper. Yeah, good, go. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the Dead Sea in Israel is so salty and so dense that it provides a lot of this force that lets you almost walk on the water. Rogers Heights. Buoyancy? Buoyancy, that's it. Go green. Let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. A lot of times, two terms confuse people, so there's a, a rhyming little ditty that goes like this. The weather we have changes from day to day, but this we have. Climate. Rogers Heights. Climate. We have is here to stay. That's right. Parade for 20. Zoo parade, 20 points. Teams, the Vikings, they used to raid duck nests, sometimes to steal the eggs, but oftentimes to steal the feathers, these kinds of feathers, because they were warm and they could use them to make their clothing with. Name those kinds of feathers that they stole from the nest. Judge Woods. Beaver feathers? What's that? Beaver feathers? No, no. Rogers Heights, what kinds of feathers are used for insulation because they keep things so warm? 
They're called down feathers, down. Like a lot of times you go to REI and they give you a jacket and it's filled with down. Those are feathers and they keep, they retain heat. Go again green. You have a, ooh, you have a wide lead there, 205 to 80. Judge Woods, you got to get all these. Come on now. Don't lose heart. Stay with me. Natalie, help out. Help out. You knew you need to help out. Go. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, when you tap a maple tree to get the sap to make maple syrup, the sap is coming up. It's rising through what tubes? Through what tubes? All right, Judge Woods, you have to know something about the vascular system of a plant. What tubes do you see that sap come up? The phloem. Not the phloem. Good try. Roger Seitz. The xylem. The xylem. You knew it had to be the other one. Good. Go green. Diana, thanks for helping them. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Leonardo da Vinci. Great painter, painted the Mona Lisa. He also did studies of the human body, inside and outside. What A initial term describes the science of the study of the human body? Roger Heights. Anatomy? Yeah, that's right. Those are anatomical drawings. Good, go. Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Is another visual question. Look back at the monitor. Ah, it's a hedgehog. Nice pet. The only problem is they're nocturnal. They're active at night when you're sleeping, and they carry this kind of bacterium that is often associated with baby turtles. Salmonella. Salmonella. Try again green. Zuprate for 25. Zuprate for 25. The big one in that category. Teams, the largest online music store in the world has what same A initialed name as this most famous one-celled organism that is filled with protoplasm. What you think? Begins with an A. Come on, Judge um, Woods. Pass it to Michael. Yeah, Mike. Uh, uh, amoeba. Amoeba, that's it, good, all right. You got your points, go. Uh, can I get uh, body systems for 25, please? Body systems for 25 points, two-part question. Endocrine glands, like the pituitary and the pancreas, they produce hormones that get dumped into the blood. But your exocrine glands produce substances that come out through ducts. What two S initial glands are most familiar for producing stuff that comes out of your body? S initialed. Sweat and salivary. Sweat and salivary. Try again, red. A deadline size for 25, please. Deadline for 25 points. Teams, this man said, rockets are cool. There's no getting around that. He actually built his own rocket, and he built an electric car called the Tesla. Rogers Heights. Elon Musk. That's he. Absolutely right. Good. Go. Let's get physical for 25. Physical for 25 points. Teams, in your house, you have something called VOCs, volatile organic chemicals. Stuff like paint and thinner and glue and cleanser. Stuff that when it evaporates can cause you harm. Well, the liquids can evaporate to become a gas, but some of the solids go right from solid to gas. What's the name of that process where it skips the liquid part? Decomposition. Ooh, not, not decomposition, good try. What's the process where a solid goes directly from a solid to a gas? Sublimation. Sublimation, yes indeed. Good, go. Last question of the game. Pope Brief for 25 points. Teams, it was discovered that 3,000 years ago, people probably were drinking milk because they found skulls from back then, and they found this substance on the teeth, the stuff that you brush your teeth to get rid of, Aria. What you got? Pass it to Jorge. Plaque. Plaque it is, and with that, we come to the end of the game, and it looks like Rogers Heights is today's winner, and we'll be back for another game. We'll be right back with a wrap-up. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Well, it was a good game, but it really dipped in the side of Rogers Heights. They really put on a virtuoso performance today. And our final tally today is Judge Woods 130, Rogers Heights 285. Congratulations to Rogers Heights, Elizabeth and Aria and Jorge. And you guys were so successful because look at all the people back there supporting you. We've got a number of alternates back there. We have uh, Javier, uh, we have uh, Yael, we have Zafaya, and look at all the coaches, all the 
professionals that took an interest in this team. Mr. Walker is back there, uh, Ms. Rajiv, Mr. Thomas, and Mr. Pit Pit. Could we get everybody in there? You guys are just fantastic, and we're going to see you against Whitehall. And Judge Woods, let's have a round of applause for all of you guys. Natalie and Diana and Michael, third time here. First time you've made it this far in the competition, you've been wonderful. Mr. Richardson, Mr. Ledoux, Ms. Buns, and we have Kyrie over here. He's kind of down in the mouth. He should be smiling over here because this is a big deal for your school. You guys should feel very proud. And we thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.